so we're on our way to main place Yay. yes Hello. i'm sorry okay. <laughs> my name is jenny bernal and i am a local santanera artist as well as an art teacher with the after school program and an, a business owner um, the beginning of my journey really started with showcasing my work in the Santora building. Uh, this is where I started to gain not only knowledge on like how to do professional artists, showcase their work, frame it, pr uh, price it, uh, name it, uh, but it also then went into another role which was uh, gallery directing. Uh, so I helped direct the gallery for about two and a half years. And from that job, I got, I moved out. I say that I came from the basement of the Centora up wow. to the promenade. And at the promenade in the Second Street Promenade in downtown Santa Ana, this is where we, I, I was the coordinator for our walk for six years. Okay. So that was 2015 to 2020. Uh, 2020, of course, hits us all very hard with the pandemic, but the need for creativity, the need for art is still there. Mm -hmm. uh, we did uh, virtual, so we went from March of 2020 to August of 2020, we did virtual art walks. And my last art walk, what I wanted to do was to provide materials in, in like a bag where watercolors and watercolor paper and brushes and then have a virtual class where I would teach them how to do different techniques um, and to just kind of understand color and color value and all the different things that then go more into like actual fine arts. Mm -hmm. um, my main passion is mainly for like mental health for, for people, for kids, for seniors. Mm -hmm. Art throughout the years has helped me. I have, uh, I suffer from attention deficit disorder. I've uh, never been, um, I've been, never been diagnosed by a doctor, mm -hmm. but I know it because it's something I've struggled with my entire life. And I, as, as I age and become more knowledgeable on the brain's development mm -hmm. and the way people behave and social behaviors, I realized like, okay, wow, that's my category. Mm -hmm. And so it's helped me learn to be more careful with my time, with my planning. And so it's it's really helped me become a better person in general. Okay. Art. Um, then comes the, like I said, so within the art walk coordination, mm -hmm. I began to then start to really work on like public events. So then that's kind of where I started to like specialize on like big, you know, big crowds, public music, uh, workshops, poetry, showcases, installation work. Uh, I love to collaborate. So I've collaborated with Santa Ana College, with high school, Santa Ana High School, with Godinez. I work with multiple schools throughout SAUSD. Cool. Um, so yeah, and so I think that like, it, that is basically what it is, right? It's like, yeah. as you move through all these sectors in the creatives uh, area, you learn about different things mm -hmm. and how to handle and how to coordinate mm -hmm. and how to book and how to make it, uh, it an environment that is enjoyable mm -hmm. for the community, for, for, for the kids, you yeah. know, because like, you have to balance like you can't just have like adult entertainment you have to have both um so yeah which then kind of leads me to where i'm at now um because of our walks in the downtown area i was contacted by main place mall this will be our eighth year to do dia de muerto celebration with that it went very well very well received by the community uh the mall had been celebrating halloween for like since its start like 30 mm -hmm. years or something and so it was interesting they wanted to make it more for our demographic and i'm like well if you think about it actually it's beautiful when uh, I, I don't know most people don't know this but like mm -hmm. um dia de muertos really comes from the europeans in a way it's like that mix of like the European Spanish culture that came to the Americas mm -hmm. that then was mixed in with the Aztec cultures and their beliefs and their gods. Mm -hmm. And so it's a beautiful, and it's quite amazing to see how how so far away, but yet our, our beliefs are kind of the same. You know, mm -hmm. we all believe in these higher energies of love and compassion and, and fearness too, mm -hmm. you know, like with gods. And so anyways, with that, we did more and more events with Main Place Mall. We started doing our walks. 
Um, and just like we brought a bunch of music during the pandemic because that was one of the things that kind of was allowed mm -hmm. was for the patio. We had like solo artists where they were just performing for the few people that were coming into the patios and that kind of kept us going. Cool. And, um, and then that was it. Basically in 2021, towards the middle of 2021, when we were planning all of our walks for the mall, um, I brought up that I've been dreaming of having a maker space or a place mm -hmm. where people from the community could come and take classes and also like showcase work and stuff like that. And that's when the main place mall said, well, we've been wanting a gallery for a long time. Like I said, I've had experiences running galleries, so it just kind of all stacked it kinda up. It just clicked in. Yeah, it kind of like, like a rompecabezas, right? Yeah. <laughs> los, los piezas, they start to, to match. Mm -hmm. And so now we're here. So if you want, we can take a little look around. So you're going to see a lot of artwork, obviously, back here. These are actually art pieces made by Adams Elementary. We were studying uh, muralism but as well as discovery of our city and like landscapes um they, they are dear to us right mm -hmm. like the ghost theater and the spurgeon building and the water tower so that's uh that's and everybody wants to buy it and unfortunately they're not for sale because <laughs> <laughs> uh i just love them i'm in love with those pieces These are not for sale. yeah and everybody wants to buy them so it's so adorable here's a little um on like what we do with workshops so for the children or again there's no age really for our but mostly as kids that we deal with and we just dedicate time you know to sitting down breathing and, and letting our hands guide us mm -hmm. yeah um the exhibit that you're about to show this is actually our new exhibit we just opened up on saturday uh last week uh, february 19th it was very Did you guys hear that? <laughs> yeah, Did you guys hear that? To, we want to make sure that artists have a place. Like so many of our artists are displaced because galleries are expensive, let's be honest. And I understand why. They have to pay rent, they have to pay overheads, they have to pay for bills. So that's why we're here, right? Trying to find that balance. How can we create a viable economy for artists and galleries so that they can ignite this love and this passion for culture in the city? Um. <laughs> uh, he'll always inform you kind of what workshops are happening for the week. Um, we, we understand that sometimes people don't have the flowers to take the bus, you know, and sometimes they're just also just stumble upon the space. Mm -hmm. So we have the maker space. like use bags and tote bags, earrings, um, cacucheras, oh. things that, like, again, that like serve a, a keychain, right? Something that you can hold dear to that somebody made for you and it reminds you of that person and it's still really, really simple. Yeah. And then these are more pictures and of... this is just the continuation of the same exhibit of uh, broken and unbroken parts. Um, oh, right. We have about 12 artists right now. 12 artists. So far, we've had four art shows with like, I think it was about 63 artists, including school children, like SAUSD students. Wow. And 
and about 154 uh, art pieces. So it's been quite, quite quick, quite exciting. Uh, keeps me busy, <laughs> keeps me going yeah. all the time. And yeah, we really want you guys to come on out to the main place. Um, you'll find us next to Yogurtland by JC Penny side. And yeah. I'll give them a little tour so they can yeah. have a little. Oh, outside yeah. Me. yeah, outside, yeah, so they can know exactly where it is. questions out here um i think it's really cool that you give an opportunity to all artists to uh come out and express their emotions their art their um just an open way of viewing things rather than just you know like keeping it in bottling it in and it's yes. really nice that you're Which letting is why our world is so broken yes right it's because we we keep this pain we keep all this heaviness and it's like how do we get rid of it and we piece ourselves together so that we can have a happy healthy life yeah and um i saw that you were working on something um would you like them would you like to show them what you would be working sure, in I soon can show you kind of what i've been so i've been uh getting ready for some workshops coming up um i'll show you what i did today so i did this one this will be a very simple watercolor uh, watercolor landscape focusing mainly on light as you can see dark and light tones um it's quite quite simple and then my other adventure right now is sonic <laughs> so i'm currently working on the background uh if you want i can show you this one too which is the last last weekend's uh we love Noteria. Who did not grow up? I mean, if you're Latina like me, you know, you know what I'm talking about. We all grew up streaming La Maceta, La Rosa, El Borracho, El Diablito. So again, how do we share our roots with our new generations? And how do we get them proud and excited about where they come from? I feel like Latinos, sometimes we are a little bit undersold, mm -hmm. that we're not creative or and that's just completely the opposite. You see that when you go to Mexico, you see that when you go to Colombia, and these countries are actually saturated with arts and cultures and, and like the people. Also, we have wonderful people, warm people. So my hope is to bring that out and share it with everyone that I can. I love your positivity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any questions? Oh. Yeah. I usually don't let people, but you can touch it. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Look yeah, because that's what I wanted. I wanted to give you that. So I am a texture lover. <laughs> that is Sam. That's Sam. Yeah. So I love to experiment. You'll see me working with sand, rocks, um, anything that like even found objects. Sometimes uh, I have a friend who was making incredible artwork using wrappers. Just random potato chips and cookies, like on top of 
saving the world, right? From all this plastic <laughs> that's and true. pollution. She was also creating amazing artwork. So I think that's also one of the main reasons why we were hoping to continue to be successful with the space is because it makes people think outside of the box. Sometimes mm -hmm. we're so caught up and like, well, I don't have this and I don't have that. And mm -hmm. I, but you have this. What can you do with what you have? Like, that's what I tell my students all the time. They're always like kind of concerned of what they don't have. Yeah. But why don't we focus on what we have and how we can make it better, right? How can we make what well, the little that we have, how can we make it bring us more like, yeah to be right? resourceful in a way to yeah. just make something happen rather than just kind of like be like oh i have this and then uh i don't have that though right like, and then they, they're always more like mourning almost like that they don't have it but they don't focus on really what they do have mm -hmm. you know and so so learning from that is it's a really good thing too mm -hmm. yeah. do you have any questions i don't have questions it's just what I've heard is that this is a place for all artists or anybody who just wants to get in touch with their mm -hmm. creative side, even if they don't feel like they're creative. Absolutely. Absolutely. And in fact, that is, that's exactly what you just said is very important. Like, even as an artist, sometimes it's hard for me, and I'm a painter, and it's hard for me to sit down and want to do a doodle or want to do, mm -hmm. but when I start, then I realized like, oh my goodness, this is why I do what I do because again, it, it physically, emotionally helps me. Mm -hmm. It lifts me up. So yeah, I agree with you that it's like, it's it's making the time and forcing yourself to do it when you do have that time because we all have it. We all say, I don't ever have any time. Yes, we do. We watch too much TV. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know anything. Yeah. I mean, include it because I love it. Again, yeah. We all have lives where, you know, you want to share moments with people and also that's I, I think also sometimes it's difficult especially for our kids like the the family might be big the house mm -hmm. might be small mm -hmm. so they don't have a place to do this to yeah. also some people like they don't like like they don't let them for mm -hmm. the paints they'll mess up the house they'll mess up the couch or you know so there's another reason so this is why we're opening the space come make the mess here yes you know? yeah no truly that's like the that. taller de creacion yeah. You cannot, you cannot come to this place. And not, not get messy. <laughs> and not get messy. It's your, this is, this is the perfect place to come and get yes. messy. Yes. She's inviting everyone. Yes. And she's asking. Welcome to Makerspace. What would you like to create? And that's actually exactly what we're doing. This is so cool. And, and that's the thing, right? It's, it's incredible what we do when we get together. Mm -hmm. When we dedicate a little bit of time to things we love, like like the other Marcos. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really cool. Well, yeah. I'm really glad that you're sharing all of this with all the people in Santa Ana because you give them hope. And I believe that everyone that sees this video is going to find some inspiration. And I hope that everyone comes and checks your shop out because not only are you awesome, but it's your your advice, your, your intention towards this shop is really, really good. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people can come and, you know, try this out because if you don't unlock your creativity, if you don't unlock your, your imagination, you, you there's just no way you can't, you know, do much more. Cause you need to have that, like, you know, want to, to have more in your brain. Yeah, absolutely. It's like a seed. Yes. And you're, and you're planting all these seeds, you know, and, and, and keep, again, and keeping that routine, mm -hmm. making, it, making it a habit, making sure that even if you're not here at the Makerspace painting, you can still do pencil work at home, you know, and how do we find balance? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, this is the, this is the messy place that you guys can come to. <laughs> Not so messy, it's really clean. Aww.
Uh, it's really time. clean. I'm getting ready to brew to sweep. I can't even speak. And get ready for tomorrow. Yeah. And, and by the way, just so people know, uh -huh. we are open uh, Friday through Sunday. So we are kind of like a specialty at the mall. We're on the weekends. Uh, we are from midday to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're always welcoming everybody that what wants to learn about art or express themselves. We're here for you. And there is no such thing as not being able to draw or paint. Exactly. There's no such thing. Nope. If you put yourself to it, you can do something. You can do whatever you want to do. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Aww.